So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the ECG leads. We have already discussed that uh, the electrical activity generated inside the human heart that was generated by the sinoatrial node and conducted through the atrioventricular node, the AV node and the Purkinje fibers into the cardiac muscles. That electrical activity can be recorded with the help of a machine that is the ECG machine or electrocardiogram. To record that electrical activity of the heart on the paper, we need a machine with which some leads are attached. So today we are going to discuss those leads. So basically in ECG, we have 12 leads and those 12 leads are divided into bipolar, bipolar limb leads or standard limb leads and unipolar leads. So the bipolar limb leads, they are further classified into lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3 and on ECG strip they somewhat look like this. These ECG patterns they are basically the patterns of lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3. They are exactly not absolutely correct picture but somewhat they look like this. Similarly the unipolar leads they, they are further classified into two categories. One are the augmented unipolar limb leads. They include the AVL AVR and AVF and on the paper strip they look like this. The AVL and AVF they have positive deflection but the AVR has a negative deflection. Similarly the other category of unipolar limb uh, or unipolar leads include the chest or precordial leads and those leads they are basically uh, six in numbers and they are V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. If we look at the morphology of the ECG pattern obtained from these leads, the first two are basically having negative deflection. Their deflection is negative, somewhat negative. The third one is almost isoelectric with equal negative and equal positive and the rest of the four, five and six leads, they have positive deflections. The positive and negative deflections are only obtained when the, when the direction of the electric current is for suppose for example this is an electrode and positive, the positive current is moving towards the electrode then the deflection will be positive whether it's depolarization or it's repolarization but if the positive, if the positive current is moving away from the electrode then this will be recorded as a negative deflection whether it's a depolarization or a repolarization any positive movement toward the electrode is recorded as a positive deflection any positive movement away from the deflection uh, from the electrode is recorded as negative deflection that is something we have already discussed because we discussed the movement of the ion the molecular level in the muscle cells in the previous lectures so basically Discussing the bipolar limb leads, they are known as the bipolar limb leads because both the leads, two leads, bipolar, both of the leads are active leads. So if you talk about the lead one, lead one basically connects the right arm and the left arm. Two active arm uh, leads are present. The, the right arm is considered as negative and the left arm is basically considered as positive. So the lead on the positive arm, the right arm is negative and the lead on the left arm is positive. And these two, when the, the leads are present on these two arms, they make the lead one. And if the movement is towards the left arm, it will be recorded as a positive deflection. If the, the movement of the positive ion is towards the right arm then that will be, be, uh, be um, will make a negative deflection because movement towards the positive will make a positive deflection then we have the lead 2 lead 2 is basically the a, uh, a connection between the right arm and the left leg here again the right arm considered as negative lead and the left foot is considered as positive lead so the lead between right arm and left foot is considered as lead 2. Similarly, the, there is another lead, the lead 3 and that forms a connection between 
left arm and left foot here the the left foot is considered as a positive electrode again and the left arm basically behaves like a negative so three leads these three leads lead 1 lead 2 and lead 3 they are basically the bipolar leads in these leads both the leads apply to the different limbs they are active leads they behave as active uh, leads one of them is a positive and the other is negative and the movement toward the positive is recorded as a positive deflection movement away from the positive lead will be recorded as negative deflection then we have the augmented leads the AVL, AVR and AVF these augmented leads they are the, just the same just like the bipolar leads but in these leads on uh, both the leads both the electrodes are not active one of the electrode is active while the other two limb leads they behave like the uh, like neutral electrode or negative so if the right arm is used is the active electrode it is used it is known as the AVR if the left arm is used as the active electrode it is known as the AVL and if the left foot is used as an active electrode it is known as AVF these are basically known as the AVL AVR and AVF or augmented leads because the ECG machine augment or somewhat increase the voltage of these leads and these different types of leads they basically provide different views of the heart if we look at the lead one this lead one this lead one this pattern basically shows how the heart look look like when when you are looking at it from above lead one is looking at the heart from above similarly lead two lead two this is lead two this lead two shows how the heart the electrical activity of the heart look like when you are looking at it from this right side and then lead three basically it shows this lead shows this lead three pattern shows how the heart electrical activity look like when you look at it from this side then we have the augmented lead the augmented leads the AVR look at the heart from this side the AVF look at it from the bottom and the AVL look at it from this side and finally we have the chest lead or the precordial leads so the chest and the precordial lead they look at the heart directly in a horizontal plane they are applied here because the lead colors the the color of the leads which are attached with the precordial lead they are red yellow green blue orange and purple so they are six in number red is v1 yellow is v2 red is yellow green is uh, v3 blue is v4 orange is v5 uh, and that uh, purple is V6 these leads basically look at heart directly or horizontally so why we have uh, 12 different leads what is the purpose of different types of leads in the ECG machine why we just don't um, why we need 12 different leads like 3 uh, bipolar leads 3 augmented leads and 6 chest leads why we need a lot of leads we need a lot of leads because we need a lot of views so depending upon the area of the heart which has developed some problem on it on the area on depending on that area of the heart or the location of the pathology we will be able to see that pathology in that area leads of that area for example if the heart has some problem in the lower region then that problem will be more visible in the AVF and uh, lead 2 and lead 3 2 3 AVF because these leads are looking at it from the lower side so any pathology on the lower side will be more visible on the 
leads there are looking at the heart from the lower side. If there is some problem on the upper region, then it will be more visible in lead two, lead one, sorry. And if there is some problem in the septum or the lateral side, then that problem will be more visible in the, these lateral leads or the chest leads. So the ECG machine basically has two basic types of leads, the bipolar leads and the unipolar leads. The bipolar leads, both the leads are active and they has lead one, lead two and lead three. Then the unipolar leads are further of two types. They are either augmented or the chest lead. And all the leads, they basically provide the different views of the heart from different direction, from the upper side, from the left side, from the right side, from the bottom and in the horizontal plane. So that is the basic um, introduction of the ECG. In the further coming lectures, we are going to discuss each and everything in detail. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching the video.